Kurt. Well, now to CBS 12 with a special report. For centuries, people have been looking for the fountain of youth, and one local doctor says it is here. Well, you won't live forever. Some certain medications are keeping people healthier longer and could be the answer for the rising cost of health care. But other doctors are saying not so fast. CBS 12's Gary Wedham takes a look into age management. Performance enhancing drugs, they're banned in sports. In the streets, it's known as BOLI or BOLE. It was his understanding it would give me a dramatic energy boost and otherwise harmless. Its use has disgraced former athletes. I have let my country down and I have let myself down. I apologize to everybody in Major League Baseball. But there's a local doctor that says steroids and hormones combined with exercise and over the counter vitamins could be the answer to rising health care costs. This being proactive and preventative is a much better way. To cut down on cost. This is Dr. Paul Thompson. He ran a successful urology practice, but about six years ago, he was at risk of getting heart disease and diabetes. Needing to make a change, he says traditional medicine isn't the way to go. We're real good at making people live longer, but we're not real good at improving their quality. Number one, Palomano. With a change in diet, supplements, and male hormones, at the age of 52, Thompson is now doing things he hasn't been able to do in years, like take part in rodeo competitions. Thompson, so impressed with his results, is now a doctor with Cinegenics, a nationwide string of age management clinics, including one here at the Boca Raton Resort. And when it comes to taking hormones to slow the aging process, Dr. Thompson says he's not trying to cheat death and tells us the regimen he uses is better than what traditional medicine is doing right now. I think the guy who sits on his butt and takes Lipitor or glucophage is cheating. If you take a couch potato and you fill them full of hormones, that's very bad. Dr. Daniel Fortier is an internal medicine doctor in West Palm Beach with an emphasis on geriatrics. He says right now there isn't enough research on older men using hormones for anti-aging and the medicine being prescribed isn't being used for its intended purpose. When you look at the data, it suggests that there are complications. That's why growth hormone, steroids, and a lot of the medications are not FDA approved for the use. They're all off-label use. Some of the anti-aging medications, like human growth hormone, are approved for use in kids and testosterone for people who are deficient. But for the most part, people who go to the clinics are middle-aged and over. The treatments are not covered by insurance, can cost thousands of dollars a month. You're monitored regularly. First, your fitness level is evaluated, then regular blood tests. And Dr. Thompson says using the hormones after a thorough evaluation is just as safe as using medicine administered by traditional doctors, adding there is one way they can be dangerous. Used in the wrong hands and not monitored. It's a problem. And Dr. Fortier admits, even though the medicine isn't being used for its intended purpose, it is effective. The hormones that are given at these places uh, enhance muscle growth. Mm -hmm. They can enhance your sense of well-being also. People do feel better. But without more studies and research to prove this is a good alternative to normal aging, don't expect insurance companies to cover this type of therapy anytime soon. In Boca Raton, Gary Whittem, CBS 12 News. Well, it's probably a book you have never